You probably don't know this, but I actually track every single feature request that I get in the comments of my videos, and I send those to the Pixelmator and Photomator teams. And the cool thing is, is they actually listen to these feature requests. So yeah, if you want to just drop that feature request in the comments below, I'll make sure to forward it on for you. And so today they're improving easily the most requested feature I see in my comments on a very regular basis, which is extending support for more raw file formats. Now this is exciting news specifically for Nikon and Fuji users because they're adding some specific formats that you might be interested in, including the Nikon high efficiency format, which is getting increasingly popular. But I think it goes beyond that. The Pixelmator team worked directly with Nikon to add support for some of these proprietary file formats, and they're doing this at the same time as Apple actively adding more raw file formats to their operating system, which both Pixelmator and Photomator automatically inherit. So if you take a look at this list of raw file formats and you're still not seeing your camera even after the fall updates that are coming to Mac OS and iOS, the cool thing is, is they've actually added a form, which I will link down in the description below, that allows you to just tell them which file format you need them to support so that they can add it to the product, which is just so awesome. How often do you get a team that is this actively engaged with their community and trying to make sure that you have the feature support that you need so that you can, I don't know, switch away from a competitor that's facing antitrust lawsuits and similar? I don't know, just a thought. So that's it for this quick update. Make sure you let me know down in the comments what feature you need, and then make sure you subscribe so that you can see the video where I tell you that your new feature that you requested is in the product. Right, we'll catch you next time.